there are but a handful of individuals in this world whom I would consider to have been touched by whomever does the touching. Albert Einstein, Thomas Jefferson, Sir Isaac Newton, and Joseph Patrick Finley, sometimes known as Cy, after the late great Cy Young. Who is Joseph Patrick Finley, you wonder? Besides the son of doctors Archibald and Catherine Finley? Besides the finest friend a friend could have? Nobody special, at least not in his eyes, which is good in one way and a problem in many others. Suffice it to say, his is a curious case. your step, cockroach. Scientifically impossible for that bike to do 120 miles per hour. Then 100. Then I'm right. You're never right. Air confuses you. Probably more like 30, man. More like 90. The ball, maybe. But not the butt. So what do you think the size of rookie card will be worth, huh? Forget the card. That jump change, man. It's the arm. What do you think that cannon will be worth? 10, 15 mil a year? And that's not including endorsements or bonuses. Innings pitch, strikeout, ZRA, all-star team appearances, and the Cy Young Award. Factoring in inflation, it'll probably be mm, 15 to 20 mil a year by then. Quit dreaming. Start dreaming. And I'm going to be your catcher. I'm going to be your slime bucket agent. What am I going to do with all that green? Spend it fast. What are you doing? <coughs> Check out the first ingredient. Alcohol. SD alcohol 30AB. Are you kidding? Go ahead, it's a good buzz. You were born with a buzz. You can't get drunk off this crap. It takes the edge off. Mouse, you are one scary human being. Not half as scary as you, Gump. What's up with the umbrella? It's hot enough to grow a cactus out of your butt. My mom said it was gonna rain. Oh, really? How much you say about the sky falling and Chicken Little? It is supposed to rain, Mouth. That's what the forecast said. We'll be lucky if we make it to tryouts this afternoon. 
we'll get to try out. We better. We will. Shit. He's in our strike zone. Where are you going? Other side of the school. It sucks over there and you know it. Come on, Mal. He won't be there later. And if he is? Other side of the school. And the next day? Other side of the freaking school. Your chicken. Size chicken. It's got nothing to do with that. Yeah, it's got to do with something that you've never heard of. Brains. And I quote, he who fights and runs away lives to fight another day. And I quote, he who fights and runs away is a pussy. What about your pride? I've got pride in other things. Like what? Hayes doesn't give a shit about us. It's a mind game and we're playing right into it. I'm sure if we ask him to move, he'll move. Yeah, right after he slits your throat. Then I'll slit his back. You really are a frightening human being, Mal. Tobacco, night games, getting laid. You wish. Just because you can't even see yours. You're an asshole. Do I irritate you? Do I nosiate you? Do I disarm you? Hey. Hey, where is everyone? with the tryouts. Thursday afternoon. But, uh, we got our bat place. And mascot. Come on, Baker, get over the plate! What happened to the tryouts for the 13 and 14 year olds? <sighs> Canceled. Budget cuts. <laughs> yeah, typers got too expensive. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> so how come no one told us? Why, Why should they? they? Because we walk upright. That's why. Sorry, kids. Them's the brakes. Them's the brakes. Why is it always us little guys who lose out, huh? What are we, invisible? We don't count? Yep. You think we like being the them's the brakes generation? You think we like having no choice in the matter? Yep. You don't think we like playing baseball as much as you do? Who decides? Who makes the rules? Who makes the budget cuts? Why us? Why not you guys? Because we can play the game. You diseases, you're still trying to figure out how to throw the ball over the plate without having it bounce a few times. Is that so? Well, you just practice up. Because come Thursday afternoon, my friend over there is going to blow the ball right by you. <laughs> Laugh. He throws so hard, he'll make you look like a ballerina in a hailstorm. That little twerp? Tell you what, why don't you go home and nurse? Ah, blow me. Whip it out. You got a forklift? <laughs> I'll see you Thursday. 
No way in hell, Book. I'm not trying out. You have to. I don't have to. Reason number one, I'm not half good enough to play on that team. And reason number two... You're an idiot. Reason number two, we all play together or we don't play at all. And reason number three, you're an idiot's idiot. And reason number three is the 1,000, my brother. My brother's going to be on that team. And if he so much as finds out we were on that field, he'll break both my legs off and beat me with them. Still make the team. Save it, Book. I'm telling you, Joseph, you gotta try out. This one is in the stars. It was meant to be. My mom always said, good comes from bad. And I believe it. Good always comes from bad. Move it! He's mad dog. We're mad dogs. God damn it. We're dead. We weren't mad dogs. And if we were? We weren't. And if we were, asshole, they may as well be feeding us to the lions. Which brings up an interesting question. Who is they? Take a hit, Bookie. You could use one. I think you could use the hit. Book was right, Mouth. That was pretty stupid. Yeah, a full-page ad could have been more effective. Come on! You guys treat this guy like he's some kind of supervillain. Trust me, we're the last thing on Billy Hayes' mind. Chill. For the first time in your life. I hope you're right. I'm always right. Ma? Hey, Ma! Mom? Hi, guys. <laughs> Remember me? Um, it looks like your dad and I are going to be home late again tonight because the hospital's a zoo, so... You guys, the freezer's loaded, and actually, I don't think it is. I, I forgot to go to the market. Oh, I'm sorry. How was your tryout, Joey? I can't wait Dr. to hear all Kelly, about it. Wait, I see just you wait, 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 wait. Dr. Kelly, do I see you? I gotta go, sweetheart. I promise, 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 I will make your favorite yummy dinner tomorrow. I love you, Joey. I love you, Dale. See you in the morning. Right. Ruben, is something wrong? No. Are you sure? They canceled our baseball league. But they did? Why? Because of the phones. That's why. Everything this city does turns into a mess. Look at the parks, look at the police, and the schools. They can't even afford to buy their own books, and that's why we're getting you out of there. Are you ready for your entrance exam? Yeah. Good. But why do I have to go? Because you do. Yeah, but why? I'll tell you why. Because I was never given an opportunity. And because I'm working too hard to see you waste away in some broken down public school. 
But what about my friends? Your friends? Huh. Well, Reuben, your granddad moved us when I was your age. And I made new friends. So you'll make new friends. All right? You make friends wherever you go. That's life. I have no desire to go to the creepin' school. And he says, I have no choice. He won't even reason with me. Then screw him. Don't go, I wouldn't. I can't do that. Sure you can, Bucky. Tell him to take a hike. That's what my mom told my old man. He never came back. Asshole. And then again, if that don't work, you can always do what that kid in Wichita did. Oh, and what was that, oh, wise one? Blow him away. left to the tree. Yeah, well, that oak tree is fair, you puke. That's not an oak. It's a Monterey pine, you puket. It's foul. It always has been and always will be. You know. All right, go home and molest yourself. Hey, guys, let's just give it to him. Not nah, give him nothing. If I can strike lightning once, I can strike it again. Fetch. You fetch. You hit it. You were in the outfield. You hit it. You said it was foul. So what? I'll go get it. No, 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 Joe. I'll go. No, 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 no. I'll go get it. Shoot. Somebody lose a ball? It's ours. Thanks. Anytime. Take care. Yeah. Yeah, bro, you too. He ain't a bad guy. By the way. Which one of you guys called me an asshole yesterday? No, I'm just curious. Because usually, I like to look the limp dick in the eyes. But hey, I just want those been calling me names. Be on my back. I'm not going to hurt anybody. Scout's honor. You know what? I don't ever. I'm gonna see you guys here again. Find somewhere else to play. Look, we don't want any trouble. If, if you want us to do your homework or make your lunch every day, you got it. You called me an asshole, didn't you? It, it was me. No. I said it. 
Now I know it was you, you fat coward. Do you have any idea how fat and stupid looking you are? Huh? Do you? Freezy foid mound of blubber. How do you live with yourself, huh? Piggy! I asked you a question, Piggy. Do you have any idea how fat and stupid looking you are? Huh? Do you? Huh? Answer me! Yes. Yes what? Yes. I do know. <laughs> I feel a whole lot better. Are you happy now? Excuse me? I said, are you happy now, asshole? Jump. <laughs> Roach, did one of your water balloon fights get out of hand again? Tell me what happened, Joey. Yeah, Joey, tell me what happened. Would you just get out? Come on, sweetie, tell me what happened. You don't have to be embarrassed. I'm okay. Dr. Finley? 
Uh, I'm right here. Okay, I have to take this, okay? Just one second. I'll be right back, okay? You know, sometimes I just want to... Okay, I'm here. Uh-huh. So how are the contractions? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And how many centimeters is she dilated? Go to hell. You say you do. Hey, hey, guys, guys, come on! <laughs> Sorry. You know, brotherly love. <laughs> Dr. Frank, can I call you right back? Just one second. I'll call you right back. Time you learned a little something about respect, cockroach. One of my buddies recognized your puny mug from the field yesterday. Don't go near it! I'm warning you! You're just a little bug who thinks throwing a tennis ball against the wall is baseball. It ain't. It's baby ball. Joey? Dale? Smarten up. I want to talk to you. Mom, I, didn't I want to talk name. to you. Joey. Your brother's just a great big bully. And someday, somebody his own size is going to set him straight. And I hope I'm there to see it. Then, though, just ignore him or something. Don't provoke him. It just plays into his hand, okay? They're at each other night and day now. I, I, I don't know what we're going to do about it. Honey, they're brothers. I went through it, and I survived, and so will Joey. They'll manage, okay? <clears throat> I'm going to the principal's. Don't even think it, Bucky. Come on, he'll only mess things up. What thing? Go to your locker. What's he gonna do? Night to you in broad school light? Come on, follow me. Citizenship in Athens. The democracy of Athens opened participation in government to all citizens. However, citizenship was a privilege reserved for relatively few people. Only men over the age of 18 could become citizens. And except under special circumstances, a man became a citizen only after his father had already been a citizen. Hey, where are you guys going? Hold. Come on. I'm supposed to get picked up by my mom. My exam? Remember? So what? You want us to stay and hold your hand? Hey, why are you such a jerk? Probably because my dad left the house when I was 10 after throwing one too many right hooks. How's that? 
I'll stick around. I got a few minutes. Alright, I'll hang. Chicken shit. <laughs> so, what time are you supposed to be there? Uh, half hour. Four. I don't know why I'm going. I'll be miserable there for the rest of my life. You're going because you're more afraid of your parents than you are of Hayes. Hey, Reuben. Glad I caught you. My mom. She can't pick me up. Uh, she's probably getting her mustache waxed. How am I going to get there now? Walk? You guys want to walk with me? Sorry, Bucky. I gotta get home and babysit my siblings. I'm late already. Joey? I gotta get home to let the plumber in. Sorry, man. Hey, hey, why don't you run? You'll be there before you know it. Yeah, Bucky, Hayes isn't around. You'll be okay. You think so? Yeah. Hayes lives in the other direction. You'll be fine. All right, wish me luck. Good luck. Break a nut. Buck says he collapses before he turns the corner. Should be okay. Yeah, he'll be right. Good. I can't join him. I'm not going. And don't ask me any questions. I don't want to hear a word about it. Okay. Oh, man. My dad's home. He's going to kill me. Nonsense. Just tell him you forgot. And don't say a word about Hayes. You know your psycho dad. He'll freak. And, Bookie, don't forget my English homework. Okay? And my math. And my biology. <laughs> what do you mean you forgot? I forgot. You never forget anything. How could you forget this? You've been studying for it night and day. Did you forget? Paul. Yes, I know. I'm going to ask you a question I would like a straight answer. Did you forget? No. Mom was supposed to pick me up. Well, you could have walked. Why couldn't you walk? What's the matter? You got a big pair of strong legs on you. If you try and throw your education away, you're going to end up a loser. You're not going to be on anyone's team. <sighs> Honey, why don't you talk to him? I will. You listen to your mother. No, you don't. No, you don't. Your dad just wants what's best for you. We both do. Ruben, sweetheart, I know you wouldn't have missed that exam unless you had an awfully good reason. Ruben, what's going on? I promise you won't tell Dad. I promise. You sure you didn't tell him? No way. I stonewalled. I told him I forgot. Here's your English. How's it look? Not bad. So how's the arm? Ready for tryouts? Don't waste your breath, Book. You sure you didn't tell him? Are you absolutely positive that you didn't say anything? Are you questioning my integrity here? No, I'm not questioning your integrity. I was just wondering if you said anything. Well, I'm just wondering if you're questioning my integrity. Oh, really? Are you wondering? Warning. 
So, how are y'all doing today? Everyone okay? Ready for trials? Nice hat, piggy. I think I'll take it. Hey! Bully! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Ha! Listen! If you so much as look at my kid ever again, I'll break every bone in your body. And if you don't believe me, you just try me. Huh, tough guy? A real hero picking on guys half your size. How do you like it being on the other side? You like it? Do you? Huh? Do I make myself clearer this morning, son? Yes. Do I? Yes, sir. Don't you forget it. I'll be watching you. Get out of my sight. Go, go, go! Cheer up, guys. Come on, Reuben, smile. It's gonna be a long time before that dirt bag bothers anybody. Now let me take you to school. Let's go. I told you, my mom gave me her word. I trusted her. You need to stop trusting her. She was probably worried about me. She should be.
I want to kill him. Excuse me. Let me through, please. Excuse me. Jesus, what's going on here? Oh, good. You sure I can't get you something to drink? Some water? I'm sorry this happened, guys. If only you would have come to see me earlier, we might have been able to avoid this whole thing. It's all in the past now. What's done is done. Now, the question that is before us, what to do next? Any ideas? Hire a hitman? I think it's time that I sit down with that boy's father. How's that sound? Guys, I've been down this road hundreds of times. If he sees that you're not afraid to get help, he'll back off. Bullies are really just cowards at heart. That's why they pick on someone smaller. Let me talk with his dad. I've chatted with him in the past, and it's always helped. I know this will change things. Don't worry, Ruben. The worst is over. And I will take care of Mr. Hayes. Chat with Ace Dad? Oh, yeah, that ought to do it. Christ, little dick. What a dick! His old man's a dick, his old lady was a dick, his brother and sisters were dicks. They're all dicks. They dick for dinner, they sleep on dicks, they drive dicks to work, they brush and pick their teeth with dicks. They dick Shut up! Dick, dick, Shut dick, up already! Dick, 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 dick. Dude, don't you ever stop dick. nabbing? Dick, dick, dick. Remember talking to Ace's dad isn't such a bad idea. Bull crap! I just talk to his dad shit. Payback time. Right, Bucky? Hello? Speaking. Principal Richard. Fine, sir, and yourself. Good. Good. Is there a problem? Die? Die? No. No, I can't work tonight. I promised my kids. Yeah, yeah, I promised them. I'm coming! Die! 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 Get out of my way! Die! Uh, honey? Hey, guys? We're leaving! Die, die, die! Bye! Bye, guys! Don't kill yourself! So, what are we gonna do? About your dad or Hayes? Oh, forget my dad. Hayes. I was thinking about that on the way home. It all depends on how far you guys want to take it. Wait here. Basic all steel Smith and Wesson single action 38 special. Also referred to as burn, heat, rod, steel, and juice. Where the hell did you get that? I won it in a poker game, dump. What do you think I got it? My mom keeps it under her bed for emergencies. Is that thing loaded? No. 
Nope. Not anymore. Let's drive it. It's okay. Let me see it. Gun at someone. Then what good is it? Billy Hayes, there's a new sheriff in town. And this town ain't big enough for the boat. what we've been waiting for. This hunk of metal can solve all our problems. Excuse me? <laughs> I don't think I'm hearing you correctly. Are you suggesting... Hold up here. An hour ago you said you wanted to kill the guy. And now... I mean, give me a break. Well, that was different. You know, I wasn't thinking. And you're thinking now? I am. Yes, clearly. All right. Tight. Oh, thank God I'm uptight. You're crazy. We can't just blow the guy away. So what are we supposed to do? Just sit there and take it? No, no. We have lots of other choices. Like what? The school? Our parents? Your useless dad? Don't you see? They don't get it. They think this is all part of life's lessons. Part of growing up. But they haven't a clue what we're feeling. They don't have time to. We're talking about a human being here, not an ant. You can't just step on him and forget about it. Buck, why are you such a yellow-bellied coward? If this is what makes me a coward, then I'm damn proud of it. Why are you such a jerk? Go home. Buck! Buck! Wait up! You can come to my house! Come on, Buck! Quite a bit. All right, down, boy. Down. Oh, there he is. How you doing, buddy? What? What's the matter with your arm? It's it's nothing. It's nothing. Dale, do this. Sort of. Sort of. Hey, what a jerk. You know, it's kind of funny how life repeats itself. When I was your age, I had the same kind of deal with my brother, your uncle Dave. Yeah, you don't believe me, do you? <laughs> I'm telling you, this guy was crazy. Got to the point where I was afraid to go home. You know what I did? I devised a master plan, and I followed it to the letter. Stood right up to him. 
And after that, it was like the guy never even existed. What was the plan? I killed him. <laughs> I'm kidding. Relax. <sighs> it was just some, you know, silly kind of kid thing, but it worked. Joe, what I'm trying to say to you is that you have my blessing to do whatever it takes to stop him. I'll give you one little piece of advice, though. Pick your battle. You'll know when it's time. Dad, could I ask you something? Sure, pal. Well, I tell, I'll tell you what. I gotta head back to the hospital and staple somebody up, so we'll, uh, we'll talk this weekend. All right? Sunday? All right. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, that's my glove. Yeah, thanks, Joey. It's my wedding broke. He didn't even ask me. Oh, you're not using it now. He's late for practice. His tryouts are Thursday. So? So? What's he supposed to use, his bare hand? Yeah, it's my glove. See, guys, right here is the attitude that dooms you from the start. You guys have to learn how to give and take. It's the only way. Joe, I'll have a talk with him, all right? Sure. Listen, Dale. Do me a favor and back off your little brother, okay? All right? Give him a break. Yeah, sure did. Hi, guys. I'm stuck at the hospital again. Um... Hello? Book. Book, listen. Mouth's an idiot. You just gotta ignore him. Book?
So, here we are. 4.45 in the afternoon. Bottom of the ninth inning. Two outs. The base is loaded. And the crowd on its feet loving every dramatic moment of this one. Roger Clemens is just one out, perhaps one pitch away, from his sixth shutout of the year. And up at the plate, the menacing and always dangerous Frank Thomas. Oh, does he look mean. Thomas leads the major leagues in home runs. So now we have the dramatic matchup, the power pitcher versus the power hitter. Thomas sets himself. Clemens staring in, getting the side. The outfield is deep, very deep. Clemens rocks. Strike! I didn't even see it! Well, fasten your seat belts, folks. Mr. Clemens is on the launching pad. Here comes the next pitch. Strike deep! Thomas is staring at the catchers, but he is stuck. He cannot believe his eyes. Here we go, folks. Two outs, the count's 0 and 2, and we have the master of the long ball staring down the master of the fastball. Clemens looks in. Thomas determined as ever. Here is the stretch. And the pitch. What's up, Bookie? Got a problem? Look at that. Your pitch cracked the wall. You're such a dreamer. Call me a dreamer. You have to try out tomorrow. There's not a chance. You have to, okay? You can't miss this opportunity. Look, forget it. It's all of us or, or none of us. No, 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 no. It's you and only you. Mouse and I, we're a dime a dozen. But you are a once in a lifetime. Ten years from now, we'll probably be out there playing slow pitch, but you'll be out there winning the Cy Young. You can't. Your damn brother is. Look, just drop it, Mal. You can't let him run your life. I mean, think about you, not him. He's not gonna kill you. It's worse than that. You don't have to live with him. You don't know what that's like. You're right, we don't. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to stand up to him. Because if you don't, you're gonna regret it for the rest of your life. You talking about Hayes here? Come on, Joey, you know who we're talking about. This is your chance to kick your brother's butt. I'll think about it. All right. I said I'd think about and it. And I said all right. Don't you worry, Cy. Your brother is all butt. Yeah, and he's ugly, too. Now remember, you've got to keep those hips out in front of your shoulder. Feel that weight transfer. I just can't believe your brain-dead brother swiped your glove in the middle of the night. Ooh, he's going down. Come on, we're going to be late. Hey, listen up. Welcome all of you to tryouts today. I want to wish each and every one of you the best of luck. So what do you say? Let's play some ball! Yeah! yeah. 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 Woo. Now remember, hips out in front of your shoulder. Feel that weight transfer. Feel the weight transfer. Shut up already. I think he's got it. You sound like a broken record. Damn! Oh, screwed. Maybe next year. Get that, man. I got it. No way, Mal. If he catches you, he'll kill you. He'll never touch me. He hasn't yet. Yet. Don't be a hero. It's not worth it. It most definitely is. And we all know it. Don't, Mal!
That's right, Hayes. I'm talking to you. Man. He's crazy. Yeah, but he's right. Hold on. But don't turn around. Young, they're calling for you from the dugout. You animal. A good dog deserves his bone. Remember, hips out in front of the shoulders. No cherries, no hooks. Just gas. Make us proud, Cy. I'll try to. Hey, good luck. Lucky. Girls try out tomorrow, though. Cockroach, what the hell are you doing here? Just right now. Who's the sign up sheet? Go home, Joey. Don't embarrass me. Home! I'm not kidding. Is something wrong with your ears? I said, go the hell home! <laughs> Hey, family! Coach, what's going on? Uh, nothing, Coach. Just, just my little brother here. He was on his way home. Weren't you? No, I wasn't. I'm here to try out. <laughs> What position? If you don't mind me asking. Pitcher. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Son, I know you want to play ball. Heck, I did when I was your age. But I don't think this is the time or the place. These guys are bigger than you are. They're stronger than you. They play harder. They hit harder. They can slap a line drive right through you. It's not like playing with your buddies. I'm real sorry. Maybe next year, all right? I'll be looking forward to it, Jim. Let's play ball. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Face it, bro. Once a cockroach, always a cockroach. Now go home. Take your stinking glove.
I'm sorry, Joey. I swear. I should never listen to you jerks. How are we supposed to know? You're supposed to listen to me. You're supposed to clean all the crap and dunk out of yours and listen. Okay, you're right. We should have. You still would have kicked their butts. Look! Give it a rest. It's over. You would have. Look! You heard what the coach said. Go home! Just beat it! Get lost! Mouse bike. Mel. Faggots want you. My pleasure. Post. You don't cuff me in no post. We're not. Not a chance. Cuff him. Don't touch me. Especially you, piggy. Compliments of the chef. Give me that. Back up. Step up, Piggy. Back up. No, Piggy. Back up. No, Piggy. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Why us? Why? 
Why, why, why? Just because someone half your size calls you an asshole from two blocks away, that's reason to terrorize them? Who gave you the right to call me Piggy? Huh? Who gave you the right to drag me out of a shower and throw me into a hallway full of kids? Huh? And who gave you the right to touch anyone? Who? God damn it. Who? Oh! Crying now. How does that feel? Does it feel good? Does it feel anything? Anything at all? You don't feel. idea what it's like on the other side of the boot, on the other side of the fist. Do you? Yes. Yes. Yes, my ass. Where do you think I got the black guy, huh? Where do you think I got it? Where do you think I got the cracked ribs? And the bruises? And the broken wrist? And the half dozen concussions? From the fairy godmother? The fairy goddamn godmother? No, oh, man. I got it from my dad. A very own dad. Some for my birthday. Some for Christmas. Some for just being there. My dad. My hero. So he beats you and you beat us. Back off, Joey. Back off. We made our point. He needs help. So let's give it to him. You don't get it, do you? No. You don't get it. You don't remember how frightened and pathetic you were curled up half naked with your runny nose mushed up against the door. Crying like it was the end of the world. How easily you forget the pain. Well, I don't forget the pain. I don't forget your pain. I don't forget Mal's pain. And I don't forget my pain. I'm sick of it. 
Maybe it's your brother you should be knocking off. Maybe you're right. But Dale won't kill me. Hayes might. our plan. It's murder. Correction. Self-defense. We can't. Let go, Buck. We can't. Let go! Buck. We can't. Let go, Buck! We can't! What the hell's the matter with you? Thompson, this is Officer Malaby. We understand there's been a shooting. Tell us about it. Is there some kind of problem here, gentlemen? No. Look. We were... Officer? Who are you? Uh, Billy Hayes, sir. This has all been a big mix-up. You see, um, we were all at my house, playing with my dad's gun, when it went off. Accidentally. And we had no idea it was loaded. And it was just an accident, officer. We are just messing around. Playing a game. We don't play with guns. Do you understand that? Do you? Yes, sir. Somebody could have been killed here today. Do you guys get that somebody could have died? Stay right here with you, baby. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna stay right here. I'm sorry. I mean, there's nothing to be sorry about. You didn't do anything. Where is my husband? Did you see my husband? Did you see Dr. Jones? Daddy's gonna be here. Eddie is the best. <laughs> Only the best for my little baby.
So, here we are six months later, and hopefully many lifetimes and sleepless nights wiser. Looking back, it's astounding how a half ounce of lead can so easily change the course of history. Besides our folks taking our pulse three times a day, private school's out for me, thank God. Mouth's mom got rid of her gun, and Joey's dad cut his patient list in half. And his mom's moved to practice home and made a ridiculous habit of picking us up after school every day. Hayes is around, but he keeps to himself. He's kinder and gentler, but we never really know. As for us, someone once said, you don't always pay in cash, but you pay. We're still paying. Not a day passes where we don't cringe, ashamed of our actions that afternoon. It's never quite been the same. I wonder if it ever will. As for Joey's arm, he's working on it. Don't worry about it, Joey. Let's go, little brother. I've waited long enough. You and me, right now. It's time. Forget it. Well? Huh? What's it gonna be? He can't. He doesn't have the arm strength. Oh, that sweet book. But he's a big boy. Let him speak for himself. Your shoulders, Cy. Don't rush it, Buck. It's time. Atta boy. One official at bat, winner rules the house. Get out of my way, T-Ball. What are you doing? Oh, man, you're crazy. Your arm's not ready. You're gonna blow it out. He's gonna hammer you, man. Don't do it, Joey. It's not worth it. I'll be okay. No, your arm is not ready. Trust me. It's time. Just get behind the plate. No cherries. No hooks. Just gas. Right here, sea roach. Nice, big, fat, juicy one. Oh! Oh, Damn, Joe, that's another, that's another area code over there, buddy. Fail! Thank God. Steve, rack one. Is that the best you can do? Huh? Why don't you give me a little something with salsa on it? Something other than your change-up. Blow up by him, Cy! Oh, no! He's taking off his girdle! Oh... Punch out. Shut up. Hey, uh, I saw your girlfriend with Scooter last night. She was walking real funny.
right then and there, it was Sire's last pitch. His Hall of Fame career was over at the age of 14. He had two pitches left in that rocket of an arm of his, and used them up on his brother. Some would say senselessly, but not Joe. It was time, and he knew it. So that was it, an arm for some sanity, a long, long road, but a fair trade, I'm sure. And so, as my mom likes to say, good comes from bad. And if you really believe good can come from bad, even a tragedy can have a happy ending. Let's hope so. And oh yeah, Joey never did pitch again, but he did take up soccer. And the man with the golden arm became the man with the golden leg. Such a love. 